Got some super high impact on the Sega Genesis. I've never played the Genesis version. Now, back when I was a teenager, back in like 93, I would have been 16 years old. I used to hang out at a bowling alley and I used to play two arcade games over there all the time. There was Super High Impact and Street Fighter 2. So, when I was six, 16 years old, I had the NES. But my NES was getting pretty bad, so I wanted to... So I asked my parents if I could rent the Super Nintendo, because every week, every weekend my parents used to take me and my sister to the video game store where my dad would rent two movies and we would rent three games, because they had a deal. If you rent two, you get the third rental for free. So I asked my dad if I could rent the Super Nintendo that night instead of just NES games. He said, yeah, so I rented the Super Nintendo along with this game and Street Fighter 2. So when I finally got the Super Nintendo on Christmas that year, I got the same two games. So I've played the Super NES version of this quite a few times. We'll do three minutes. Yeah, so I don't have most of these options in Super NES version. Yeah, also I don't think you can do two players against the computer on the Super NES version. I could be wrong though. I always pick Vegas for some reason. Just because at the time they weren't in NFL City. Now you got the Raiders, who I'm pretty sure are in Vegas. Oh wow. Yeah, kicking is much easier on the springs. So what's this? You can't pick one play, you gotta pick three different plays. Well that doesn't make sense. Yeah, the chances. Many of the games are very limited to what they can and can't do. I mean, look at that, you're picking three plays at once. Oh, you know what, you probably pick A, B, or C to choose between these three. See, in the Super NES version, you can jump. You really can't do a whole lot of anything in this game. See, without knowing how to jump, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, that sounds way better on the Super Nintendo.
fourth down. This is probably the worst I've ever done in a football game. three yards ahead of him. Oh, you know what? I just noticed at the top, that's the A, B, and C. Okay. somebody on one of the Facebook groups trying to say that the Mortal Kombat games were better on Genesis than Super Nintendo. Now the only advantage the Genesis version had over Super Nintendo was the fact that it had blood, the blood code. But as far as graphics and sound, Super Nintendo was far superior and I did a comparison video play both games and totally tell the difference. Tecmo Super Bowl for the first time in the Genesis, which I did a video on. I didn't have any problem winning. And I still did good in that because the game played very similar to the Super NES version. This game seems to have some really like loud and obnoxious music and sounds like right when I'm talking.
So every single time I try a running play, he gets picked back to the line of scrimmage. Every single time. I have yet to pick up a single yard. First time in 30 year, years I ever lost this game because I'm pretty sure the last time I lost was on the arcade game because I know I didn't lose, I never lost on the Super NES version. doing the Genesis. I mean, not only are these graphics and sound inferior in this version, but the gameplay is also worse. Half the time you press the buttons and it's not doing anything. Ten years behind the guy. Maybe you should be flipping burgers or something, because you certainly don't know how to play football.
this was a real football game, the coach would walk out to that quarterback and fire him right there on the field. Oh, I need timeout. Superanian's version also has a much better halftime show. This is terrible. shouldn't be playing football if you're that bad. Look for fumbles in this in the Techno Super Bowl when it says fumbles it's talking about the team that caused the fumble in this game fumbles is the team that actually fumbled. Really? I pressed the A button, he's got to sit there and take his time, drawing his arm back, while the defensive player's running like 60 miles an hour. I wish there was an option in here that was forfeit. Just, you know, like quick walk off the field. Now they're just raping me with the pine cone. Team look like they got rejected from the Special Olympics.
Maybe if you didn't have Helen Keller for a quarterback. Oh, he just suddenly started running like 30 miles an hour. Super high impact game. Keller. What? He just fell. He jumped away from that guy. Like three or four yards later, he just falls on his back. cheap mechanism that most games have where they try to keep the score close. How could it be 40 yard kick no good? I mean if I can control how the other team kicked, then yeah I can cheat too. video on this big game and the Super Nintendo game just so we can see how terrible this one is. I still cannot find a Sega Genesis game to compare to Super Nintendo that's as good or better than out to catch the ball. Maybe my, maybe my players look like they're so stupid. Nice. 
might have when I try throwing it to an invisible player. I'm not doing this. The fight scenes are so terrible. Center right now. Okay, I could have sworn my player caught that. Worst I have ever done at this game ever. I don't think they've ever scored more than two touchdowns against me.
Now he's got to hold him off for 21 seconds. I, why does he do that? Either the buttons or deep heads just not work when I kick it. Sega Genesis so that now I'd be playing Super Nintendo games and actually be impressed by them. Whereas right now I play these Genesis games where I play, already played the Super NES version I'm just like really disappointed in them. But Super High Impact. I just bought five games last weekend. So now I'm up to 396. I only need four more games to reach 400, which is my goal by the end of the year, so I shouldn't have any problems doing that. This weekend I'm going to check out what games I got, and I'm sure I'll pick up four of them. So. Super High Impact, hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> See you next week.